hello to all my Facebook friends and families and people on Twitter and uh, LinkedIn and other sources uh, that I'm on YouTube. God bless you all for listening to this program today. I thank you so much for tuning into the broadcast. I thank you for uh, sharing my videos. I thank you for hitting the like and, and I appreciate it so much what you do. God is good to us all the time. And God is not through with us yet. I want to talk to you about that today. God is not through with you. It doesn't matter just exactly what's going on in your life today. There may be difficulties surrounding you. You may have financial difficulties. You may have a death in the family. You may have uh, situations that are not going well, people that are seriously ill. You may have lost someone that you love so much. But just remember, God is not through with you yet. We have all been given a time on this earth to do what we uh, need to accomplish, and you will leave a legacy in your life. If it's a testimony from the Lord, it will stay forever. I know I had a wonderful mother that uh, I surely loved the Lord with all of her heart, and I know she did. And one of the great things about my mother is she stood on the Word of God, and she believed in the Word of God for her family. And she prayed for her family all the time, not only her children, but her, her grandchildren, her great-grandchildren. She constantly prayed for all of you that are listening today. She prayed for you. And God has a plan for your life. Don't ever think for a minute that God doesn't keep you in that plan. If you have been called to do something for the Lord, be sure to obey Him and listen to Him and do whatever He wants you to do. If it's teaching children at school, if it's just driving someone back and forth the church, if it's just cleaning the church, if it's just doing things for people, uh, like, like special things, you just go and take them places and do things for them, and God will bless you when you do an effort like that. Not everything that we do for the Lord is all grandstand. You know, there's a lot of things that we can do under, under the timeline of what we do. And we need to pray with all of our heart that we'll give our best to the Lord all the time. There's some famous scriptures, I think, some of the favorite scriptures in the Bible that people like to look at. Uh, the Israelites were in Babylonian captivity, and God was very displeased with their relationship with Him. They had reached the point where they offered uh, their children the sacrifices to, a, to Moloch, to a false god. What a serious thing that was to do. And because of their activity of moral depravity, they went into captivity. And it lasted for 483 years, and there's still seven years to go on that. But uh, we're under Roman rule right now, but the seven years is uh, going to be completed during the Great Tribulation. But during all this, God had some mercy and grace that he gave to the land of Israel and to the people of Israel. And I'm going to read it to you. And the reason I'm reading it to you is be sure I get every word right. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Then you shall call upon me, and you shall pray unto me, and I will hearken unto you. And ye shall seek me and find me when you search me with your whole heart. Oh, that's the way to find God is when you search him with your whole heart. God doesn't want anything that's just halfway. He wants your heart. He wants you dedicated. If you're called to preach, you better obey God. If you're called to do something as a missionary, you better obey God. I know we're dealing with this virus that's going on today, and things have been slowed down and shut down. But the work of God is never going to shut down. Your legacy will never give up. Seek the Lord while he may be found, and call upon his while he is near. And you know this scripture that was given to them is also good for us to use today. It doesn't just mean that that message for, was for Israel itself because we can apply it to our hearts today. And there is a scripture in Matthew 6 and 33 that says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these other things will be added unto you. If you need a job today, God will help you get that job. If you're having difficulty paying your bills, God will supply all of your need according to your riches and glory. Have faith in him and trust in him that he will help you during this difficult time. 
I'll tell you what, there's never been a time in history quite like this in America. I know there was the Civil War and other things that, that were difficult, but this is the, our religious freedoms at stake right here in America today. I want to call upon the people of God today to seek the Lord with your whole heart. Put your whole heart into the work of God, and God bless you today. I love you, and thank you for listening to this program today.